His Excellency the Governor of Siaya, uh, James Agri Orengo, His Excellency the CS for Industry, my friend Moses uh, Kuria, and all the dignitaries present. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to welcome Moses Kuria to Siaya. Moses Kuria, my friend, you are welcome to Siaya, and you will realize that Siaya people are very, very friendly people. They will give you all the necessary uh, facilities welcome, including a, a lady to hold, to go back with. Yes, but you also realize that our people are also very proud. They are proud people because they exist. They exist whether others are there or not. They are there. Wadak Kata Katiyonge. And therefore, we also want to tell you that our people are very hardworking. They are very hardworking and they produce their own food. This is not a food relief area. We are never included in the list of those who get food relief. So when you see us putting sufrias on the, te on the head, it is not because we don't have food, but because we are sympathizing with all the other Kenyans who are suffering because they have no food. And, and uh, Honorable Korea, the docket you are given of industry is a very important industry. It's a very important docket. And it is a devolved function. So, James, you have done a great thing to create an industrial park. When an industrial park is created, it is not meant to spoon feed you. It is meant to give you a facilitation to invest as people of CIA. And I know you are very hardworking. And so that, so our investors, those who have some money, please bring them home. Bring that money home, come and invest in this industrial park so that we can create jobs for our people. We want our people not to go to Nairobi, to go to Kisumu to seek for jobs. We want them to work here. And there's an area which has been ignored, and I hope it will be included in this. That is the ICT, the outsourcing. Outsourcing business creates a lot of jobs in other countries, including a, a few, a, just a few jobs in Nairobi. But this one in CIA here can be the first rural outsourcing facility for the whole, in the whole country. And I will be very happy if we can create it. it I, I hope Jim it is, a part, is part of it. And uh, I also want to, I don't want to say much because this is a, a function for which is not for politics. We didn't come for politicking. But please, please, uh, Honorable Korea, I'm sending you to the president. Please tell him not to push these our people. They should know that as legislators, we have a role of oversight. And when I declare that I'm supporting the government of the day, what does it mean? Does it mean that I have abandoned my role as an oversight member? There are three, the separation of functions. There's the executive, there's the, the, the legislature, and the judiciary. And they are independent. So as a legislator, I, could not at, I should not at any time declare that I am part of the executive to bring development. It is the responsibility of the executive to bring development. It is my role to make sure they do it. And it is my role not just to encourage them, but also to make sure that I oversight them so that they don't sleep. I wake them up when they are sleeping. But when I say I'm part of them so that I bring development, does it mean I'm going there to beg? I'm not a beggar. I'm representing my people. So, James, with uh, those very few remarks, I would once again like to welcome Kuria. Moses, he likes development. He's the one 
with whom we brought Equity Bank to Sierra. We traveled together, and the Equity Bank is doing a good job for our people here in Sierra. So you people take that advantage. But I can tell you, it is Moses Kuria with whom we came to launch the Equity Bank here in Bondo and in Sierra. So with those uh, very many or few remarks, I want to once again thank you, Jim, for bringing this project. It is going to be a great fair fit on, for our people. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Senator.